working on the radiator aluminum I didn't do anything to this uh, with this aluminum prior to uh, the body going on for the last time um, so yeah trimming fitting a lot of people use the one piece um, but these don't seem to fit too bad with a little trimming and all that I have the uh, you can see it right down there the breeze radiator mount so I got a trim to go around those uh, brackets and the bolts and all that but yeah it's not too bad this one goes gonna go right about there and then the bottom bottom piece actually fit pretty good there's a three-quarter tube that runs in the uh, radiator channel you can kind of see it right here and there's a bolt that goes through there so I just uh, picked up that hole for that panel and a few rivets there I'm not going to rivet it to the body I'm just going to put bulb seal on there and that will hold it in place so yeah working on it her up throw a little shark hide on there just wipe it out with a rag it seems to work pretty good that dry hit it with the second coat I'm getting ready to put this uh, lower aluminum piece on I'm going to beat a silicone on here before I put it in place. Keep it from rattling. Just going to 
than bead on here. So I finished polishing these panels. I sanded them with 1500, 2000, and 3000. Then I hit them with the uh, Flitz metal polish. I got perfect, but good enough for here. bulb seal on the front that way I don't have to put any fasteners through the body should hold it in place pretty good get the damn thing in place there we go that's it So just the bottom of the radiator is uh, supported by a three-quarter tube that runs across and picks up the flange down there. So I had to pull the radiator this way to make sure that when I ran these rivets in that it only picked up the flange there and not the three-quarter tube. So I used pretty short rivets for this since it's only going through two very thin pieces. And you wouldn't want those going into that three-quarter tube because then the radiator wouldn't be able to float. And you need it to float. That's how it was designed. That's a long rivet. I don't know how that got in there. Let me make sure. Clico and pull it just a little bit to make sure. Because the Clicos are into the three quarter tube, I think. I tried not to drill into them, but I hit one or two of them. So. It'll be alright. bolt goes in here. With a little wiggle. Yeah, I might have to screw it in. Yeah, that's off just a little bit.
screw picks up the three quarter tube. So I guess it really doesn't float, but between the flange and that three quarter tube, I have washers stacked up in there to not pinch that flange down. So would have been the same thing had I drilled into the three quarter tube to put these rivets in, it would have pinched that unless I washered them. So just leave it short of it. For some reason I was thinking that, that floats, but I guess not. So. Put a nut on that and move on to the side panels. It's got a little bit of shine to it. It'll look good. Alright, so we got those all done. See up there, and there's some uh, bulb seal on the top where it's close to the body. I didn't end up riveting here. I put uh, hex head screws and nuts. Same thing over here. And those two spots there. And then bulb seal up there. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And the car sits so low. That's pretty much the only thing you're going to really see. Yeah, turned out what I was talking about underneath here. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this. There's the three quarter bar that uh, the radiator bottom flange mounts to. And if you look up in there, you can see those rivets. That's why I put short ones in there because it butts up against that three quarter tube. I didn't want to drill into the three-quarter tube and go with longer rivets, so since it's just two skinny pieces of metal. And I wouldn't say that that thing floats, per se, but it's not like a hard mount down at the bottom. Because that, if you look down there, there's a hose over the top of that three-quarter tube absorb some cushion on the radiator so it does kind of float I guess you could say but yeah on to the next part <laughs>